Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Five. We are learning Unit One. Its title is Fruits and Vegetables. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children, today under the title of reading and thinking skill, we are going to learn about long and short vowel sounds. And before this in English for grade four, I have already taught you long and short vowel sounds. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to identify and pronounce long and short vowel sounds in different words. This is our today's. Asalo. Let's start with the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Ibrahim, verse twenty-four: "Have you not considered how Allah presents an example, a good word like a good tree, whose root is firmly fixed and its branches high in the sky?" Yes, my dear children. Subhanallah, this is such a beautiful verse and such a beautiful example. What Allah is telling us: a bird, a beautiful bird, is just like a tree, a good tree, a good tree which has its roots, its stem, and its branches. So, how the words are? A word which has different letters joined together, and then it becomes a word. And better one thing which is very important for every word, it should be a good word which should be pronounced clearly. And to pronounce clearly, we should know how to say it clearly. This is what we are learning. Okay. So first, you tell me what is a vowel, and what are short and long vowel sounds. Do you remember? We have learnt about it. So pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher. I hope you remember the vowels are there are five letters a, e, i, o, u, and these the sounds associated with these letters are long and short vowel sounds, which are like this. So vowels can make different sounds. The sounds they make depend on where they are in a word. So the same letter. Have different sounds. So, how do we differentiate, and how do we find which sound we'll have to say or pronounce over here? It depends upon their location, like where they are in a word. We'll find where this letter is in a word, and then we'll decide either it's short or long sound. Okay. So, this is what we are going to learn today. The first rule is short vowel sound rule. When there is one word. Okay, so you find a word, and there is only one vowel in that word, either at the beginning or between two consonants. It usually has the short vowel sound. Okay, so where, when there is only one vowel in a word, wherever it is, it's in beginning or in middle or between two consonants, its sound will be short vowel sound. Okay, so when it will be long. That's your. When by placing two walls together, when a word has two walls, usually the first wall says its name. That's a long sound, and the second wall is silent. Okay. So here I I teach you a little a small song. When two walls are walking, the first does the talking and says its name. When two walls are walking, the first does the talking and says its name, right? So the rule is: whenever you find there are two walls together in a word, what you will say? The first letter, the first wall will give its long sound. And what are the long sounds? Their names like a, e, i, o, u. These are the long vowel sounds. And If there are two walls together, the first says its name as a, and second remains silent. So how we'll pronounce this word? R a n, r 
a n. So these two letters together are giving sound a r a n. This is how we pronounce it. Got it? All right. The next word is there are two vowels together o and a. And what is this sound? Long sound of o. It's o. So how will it say b o t? B o t. It becomes bot. Bot. B o t. So this a remains silent and o is giving its long sound. Next is there are two vowels e and a together. So the long sound of e will be there and a will remain silent. And how we'll say this word? Peach. P e ch. This is we know this is digraph. And this A is silent. This E is giving its long sound. Now all, all sounds let's join together to say this word. It's p e ch p e ch peach. You got it? Good, smart. So the next rule we'll practice is the ending word with an E, which is called a bossy E rule. How it appears in a word. Now you see there is a wall and it is this word is ending on E. So this bossy E remains silent and makes the previous sound, previous letter, previous wall to give its long sound. So this is I. How do we pronounce it? Now join these sounds. I rule five. I rule five. Right? This is how we say it. Again, in here, this word is ending on E. This is bossy E. It will remain silent and will make the previous wall to give its long sound. And how we'll say it? Place. Place. Right? Place. Place. Here is the consonant blend. Consonant cluster. Place. 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 Do you understand better all these, whatever rules we learn, we should apply on the words. This is how we pronounce the words correctly, okay? So these are the rules we are going to practice and here are the other rule for long vowel sound. I can be long when it comes before two consonants, okay? Now you will see in a word, I is there. And after this I, there are two consonants. Means you find a consonant cluster after I. That can be cluster of two or three uh, consonants. So how you will say it? This I is going to this wall. I is going to give its long sound and its child. Child. Likewise, mind. Mind. Right? Okay. And the fourth rule is, if A is followed by Y, means after A you find Y is there, it makes its long vowel sound and it is pronounced as A. That's why it's play, day, Sunday, right? This A and Y together gives the long vowel sound of A and that's A. You got it? Okay, all right. And the fifth rule for long vowel sound we are learning today is the Y also has two vowel sounds. How? Typically in one syllable word, the Y at the end of the word makes the long I sound. Okay, better this is important. Uh, how we say it like a word. Basically, this rule applies when, because we say one syllable. And how do we make syllables? Remember, we break the words for every wall. Now, if in a word there is no wall and the word is ending on Y, this Y acts as a wall. And which sound it gives? It gives the sound I as the long I. For example, cry. Now, you see all the consonants there. Right? But here this Y acts as a wall sound and which sound it makes? The long I sound, cry. Right? And fry. And try. Are you getting it? All right. So the second rule is typically in two syllable words, the Y at the end of the word makes a long E sound. For example, be. B. 
okay now this because already a vowel is there so this y will give a long vowel sound of e baby and city and this is these are the rules there are total today we learned five rules of short and long vowel sounds so this is the time to practice all right so the first wall is a and very simple the short sound and cat and long sound cake bake and now we know the rule why it's cake why it's long a sound because the bossy e is there right the next is e a sound is a as in jet and net and long sound feet and leaf again we know the rule two walls are walking the first does the talking and says its name all right the next is i its sound is e as in fish and fig and long sound is i as in kite and ice cream both bossy e is there that's why it's long i next is o its sound is o as in clock and dog and its long sound is as in rob or rob and what we know the rule two walls bossy e right this is how we identify and quickly we find out how to say it and the short sound of u is up as in sun and jump and long is u as in cute and tube right beta this is how we say these letters they're short and long sounds and we have learned the rules now it's time to practice from your book so here we go the vowels which pronounce short sound are called short vowel sounds its examples are here bit rest pan arrange the lot full and mug and it's long the law the walls which are pronounced longer are long vowel sounds and here are the examples sheep tube urn and dark okay so it's time to practice are you ready for that all right so what you are going to do teacher will make pairs of students each pair will be assigned one vowel okay one student will be long vowel and the other will be short vowel okay one will make short vowel sound and the uh, other will long vowel sound now both of the students will first pronounce this sound and then will say words of the sound assigned to them. All right. So the way I taught you now you have to say the short sound and a short word with that means a word having short vowel sound and your peer, your friend who is with you, he or she will say long sound and a word containing long wall sound all right so pause the video and enjoy this beautiful activity yes my dear children are you done with it good job so it's time to practice from your book you will underline the words with long wall sounds and encircle the words with short wall sounds so the words which are which are having long sound you will underline them and for short you will circle them so pause the video and complete this exercise in your book also write five words from the poem which we have just studied which have short vowel sounds okay so pause the video and complete this exercise in your notebook yes my dear children are you done with it good job so it's time for your homework you will identify and pronounce pronounce long and short vowel sounds from the poem and will write these words in your notebook in two separate columns one for long and the other for short vowel sounds so from your poem you will select the words and you will write them in two columns and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience and kindly provide printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do, 
here is a word bank given to you and uh, you will say the word find out the sound either it's long and short wall sound and you are you are also going to complete here these boxes so in this way what we have learned we learned that walls can make different sounds the sounds that make depends on where they are in a word we identify long and short vowel sounds and we pronounce long and short vowel sounds in different words so in this way we achieved our slo that was to identify and use short and long vowel sound are we done with it yes and we thoroughly enjoyed doing it that's it for today tomorrow i'll come again with a very interesting lesson till the time keep learning keep practicing take very good care of yourself and the people around you thank you and allah hafiz